Let's see the type of questions that occur in the GRE quantitative aptitude type. The first type of questions that you will see here are known as single option correct. This is the most familiar type, single option type. In this type of question, you will have a question which will be followed by let's say 4 or 5 or 6 options and only one out of those will be correct. That is the most basic and the most familiar type of question type. The second type of question that you will see is known as more than one option correct. More than one option correct. This is also something that is familiar type and comes in almost all other exams. That you will have a question followed by 4 to 5 options and out of them 1, 2 or 3 or maybe all of them will be correct and you will be awarded marks only and only if you select all the options that are correct. If 4 are correct and you select 3, you will not be awarded marks for that. So make sure you analyze each option separately, independently and only then select the option. The third type of question which is slightly different and does not occur in other exams is blank type questions. Now what is blank type questions? In blank type questions you will be having a question followed by a box. What do you have to do in the box? You have to solve the question, find the answer and input the value of the answer in the box using your keyboard. This is a different type of question. So make sure that you have to solve the question properly and you don't have options. So make sure that the answer whatever you are inputting is entirely correct and if it is a fraction then you will be having two boxes in this way. So the numerator goes here and the denominator goes here. And if it is a decimal type question then you have to answer up to two decimal points that means two places after the decimal have to be answered you have to round up up to the two decimal places. 